welcome, welcome, welcome to another Deke J. Wilson STEM video. Uh, today, I want to bring you a, a little video on a new application I've been working on called Kodo Game Lab, and it's really cool. It's from um, uh, from Microsoft, and it is a free download. So those of you that are in gaming and uh, like the program, this is one that I really encourage you to, 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 to get with. All right, it's actually pretty easy to use. So um, from my, my home screen, again, I, I went a few pages. So um, this is a new world. So there's this is my home. This allows me to play my game. This is my move option so I can move around my world. These are my robots and, and, and codus and different objects in the game. This is paths that I want things to follow. This allows me to paint my world. I'm going to do this real quick. I want to, just for a demonstration, I'm going to paint, you know, a little bit in this world. Okay. These are different elevations that you can choose. And you can, as you see, uh, I can increase the, the size of my world if I wanted to. I could make some mountains, different places. Um, if I wanted to, I could uh, build a few street. Well, uh, do that. Um, I, I could make some rivers. Um, but again, it's all what you would like it to do. But let me do this. Let me. I want to go back into the Kodu robot because this is what I really wanted to show you today. Um, that's mainly just to how to make your uh, a user controlled Kodu robot. Okay, so I'm going to click on my robot first, and then I want to click on my world somewhere in my world. So I'm going to put him here, and well, I'm going to put something here. And so this gives me the option of what do I want to use. And again, I'm going to pro I want to use a Kodu robot. Okay. Now, once I put my I have my Kodu robot. OK, I'm going to now because I want to I want to program him to move. So I'm going to click on him. And as you see, the uh, right click is the program and left click is the drag. So I'm left clicking and I'm dragging him around now. If I right click on him, it will allow me to program him. So I'm going to right click and then click on program. Now, the programming settings are actually pretty easy to use. Um, so if I'm going to click on this plus when it's mainly this lot of really if you in our program is those if then statements if something happens or if a key is pressed then do something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on the plus sign. And so now these are the options that I have. I can use my mouse, I can use touch or whatever, but um, I'm going to use my keyboard because I want to use the up, down, left, right arrows. So um, when my arrows are pressed, so if my arrows are pressed, then I want it to do something, OK? So now I want him to move. And what's pretty cool about this is that it's very user friendly. So when these are done, it's automatic. Like So when my left arrow is pressed, it's automatically going to assume I want my uh, robot to turn left. OK, so I'm going to get out of here. If I get out of here, I press escape. OK, and now I can actually play my game. So I'm going to press play. It brings me into my game mode. So now when I press the left arrow, I, I mean, right arrow, I, I move right, left arrow, left. And when I go forward, OK, now I'm going forward. One of the really cool things that I do like about Kodu is that if you notice, when he goes over mountains, his actual elevation changes. It's actually really cool that it's uh, pretty uh, easy to use this way. Now, again, the back arrow does something a little bit different for, for this code. Rather than moving backwards, he actually rotates in a different direction. OK? That is how you would get your, or how you would create a user-controlled uh, Kodu robot in Kodu. Again, um, it's really cool app. And 
again, please watch out for more videos. If this video was helpful to you or you found it interesting, please make sure to hit the subscribe button for the new video. Uh, we'll actually hit the like button and subscribe for new videos that are coming out from Deke J. Wilson. And again, hashtag go build something cool and uh, hashtag, um, you know, STEM is fun. All right. Have a great day.